So, Alex, strawberries and cream, grass courts. Wimbledon is a lot more than that. It is. We're very proud of the fact that for, for two weeks of the year, the, the eyes of the world turn to our little patch of, of SW19. Um, and that's sort of an honour, really, that we, that we try and live up to and make sure that, that Wimbledon delivers on those expectations for our fans around the world every year. That's the point, isn't it? It's all about that traditional British event. And that makes your job hard because you need to maintain it. You always need to be on point. Yeah, I mean, we recognise that, as you say, that the brand is, is the core of our story. And if we were to try and move too much away from, from it, from the grass, from the strawberries and cream, from the whites, from the Britishness, then we'd lose um, our identity, really, and we'd start to become inauthentic. But at the same time, recognising that, that some of the things that Wimbledon represents, if you think about the view of the Royal Box, are not necessarily the story of Wimbledon that we're trying to get across to younger generations and different territories. And so we try and make sure we celebrate celebrate all of the aspects of Wimbledon, whether that's the queue, whether that's the party atmosphere on the hill, whether that's the accessibility of the event, the fact that you can turn up and, and queue up and get a ticket, it's pretty unusual today. Um, so it's, it's challenging ourselves to, to innovate, to preserve our traditions, rather than this feeling that tradition and innovation have to be in conflict with each other. You have some long-term sponsors? Yeah, Wimbledon is, is famous for its clean sight uh, and, the, and the clean look of the court when you, when you watch it on TV. It's something that we're very proud of, that all of our commercial partners have to have a meaningful relationship with us. They have to supply something to the tournament. And we're lucky that we've got these, these amazing long-term partnerships. But we're also in a privileged position to be able to introduce new people in, into the family. One new partner this year is American Express, um, who we're, we're fascinated to see the impact that they can have on helping us modernise um, the way that fans can experience the event through payments and all, all of that other stuff. Another great example is Rolex, been a partner for a long, long time, and also IBM, who, who we do a lot around data and insight and all of our technology. Well, IBM is more important every day of the week when they are a sponsor of an event because the whole world is digitised even more with every tick of the clock, with every moment that we live. Yeah, and, and IBM, to their credit, have really bought into this vision um, of, of using technology to change the perceptions of Wimbledon as this traditional brand stuck in the dark ages, but this, this idea of innovating with purpose, not just for the sake of it. And what's been fascinating is, is finding ways to apply their technology, whether that's artificial intelligence, that helps us generate highlights clips, exactly to your point, to tap into consumer behaviour, or whether it's the core statistics of how you tell the story of a tennis match. And what's great is, is the ability to try and keep Wimbledon relevant through the means of, of that technology. Now, it's not just those people that live in England or the United Kingdom or Europe, for that matter. Uh, it's a real pilgrimage for people to come to Wimbledon. It's on their bucket list. How do you cater for it? It's an amazing privilege that people feel that way, and it, it comes back to your question about Britishness. Um, we are a proudly global event, and it's so important that we recognise that. Proudly global, but staged in, in Britain, staged in, in the UK. Um, in terms of delivering on, on the appeal of Wimbledon to, to the world, we try and talk about everything that we create around the event as, as the next best thing to being here, recognising that people are going to be following Wimbledon from all corners of the world and may never have the opportunity to come. So our role is to make sure that we deliver them a service or deliver them an offering that is just like being there and, and is the best that we can do um, at doing that. I think the second point is, is about accessibility um, for those people who do choose to make the trip and that they can have access to tickets at a reasonable price um, and that they aren't hard to get, that they're, they're able to get them. Because someone who's made that effort, you want to, them to be able to realise that, that dream. You must feel really privileged to work for the All England Club. It's a huge privilege. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the things that we talk about a lot is the fact that our job is to look after Wimbledon for the period of time that we're there and hopefully leave it in, in a good state, hopefully better than, than when we found it. This idea of stewardship of, of the brand um, and that we all have our time to contribute towards that. But it's going to be something that's going to outlive all, all of us and, and hopefully will be around for, for years and years to come. Look, we laugh and we, we giggle about the rain and the fickle English weather, but it's a challenge, isn't it? If, particularly for this event and it... Uh, you seem to handle it in such a great way and you're always thinking about how to do it better. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, Cliff Richard singing in the rain is, is a viral clip on YouTube um, for good and, and bad reasons. Um, but the weather, it, it's, it's part of the atmosphere and uh, fans being able to come in with their picnics, with, with all of their stuff. The iconic view of people sitting stubbornly on the hill with their umbrellas up because they won't leave um, because a match is being played under the roof on, on centre court or, or number one court. We have made uh, efforts to try and make sure that um, the tournament isn't in danger of running over because of the weather. So we, we were pleased to introduce a, a tie break in the final set for the first time, which will come into place this year. The start of play has been brought uh, slightly earlier. Um, and all of that is to try to make sure that, that fans aren't in danger of, of missing out on what they really want to see.